Come on! Hurry up! So, you got something to say to me? Uh, on to Elysium? I mean, about broken glass. Sheesh! <laughs> broken glass? <laughs> It uh, brings good luck, no? You mean like the luck of having a completely intact lower jaw? Gonna have to disappoint you there. Ouch! Tony! I'm disappointed in you, Rufus. I always thought you'd be the one to bring a breath of fresh air into this dump. But I got it all wrong. You make the same mistakes again and again and again! It was entertaining the first two or three times, but wears thin by the fourth. Have a great time with your next attempt to reach Elysium, Rufus. If you need me, I'll be with my dad. And for one last time, keeping the fire extinguisher on standby. Tony, wait! Damn it, all because of that damned elephant again. Where's Tuck anyway? He was supposed to keep an eye on things. You just can't trust anyone for anything around here anymore. Hey, Rufus! Not now, McComb Pickle. I have other things on my mind. Bit of girlfriend trouble? Ex-girlfriend. Thanks for that. Oh, jeez, Louise. And that's my fault? Uh, exactly. Because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. Oh, dear. That's just so wrong. Then do something about it. But what if we inflict more harm by doing this? More than we already have? Do you want me to shove your stupid rod up your ass? Oh, okay then. I I'll help you, whatever the cost. the shards of a dysfunctional relationship. Was it really too much to ask for you to prevent this debacle, Kowalski? I've no idea how this could have happened. I think that elephant is just too darn clever for us. Ah, hogwash. They haven't hatched the elephant that could put one over on old Rufus. Perhaps they still need to do that. The indicators are getting denser that, uh, oh, uh, muscle tough? Ah, Mac. Perfect timing. Why? What are you planning? I think we went at the whole thing ass backwards. This is a crime scene. There have to be clues, traces. With my criminological skill and your Watson ability, we'll have this case solved before the elephant can say, Please, let's not stick around here for too long. That elephant could still be close by. I sure hope so. I'll put a knot in its trunk so that it never forgets what happens when you mess with Rufus. It is definitely still here. I'm completely certain now. Whatever you saw there is traveling through time. So that's why it's always one step ahead of us. Or behind. Difficult to say. I think I'm feeling sick again. Drink up, Tuck. Time to hunt elephants. The shard glows here. Really? Then there's got to be a radiation source close by. Wait. Well, hello there. Aha! Uh -huh. Elephant skin. As far as I know, elephants don't shed their skins. Yeah, yeah. First you refused to believe in pink elephants, and now all of a sudden you're an expert. Well, to me, that just looks like an ordinary bit of cloth. And the mysterious glow? My guess is tachyon radiation. It happens when matter is moved backwards through time. I'm measuring traces of it in the whole area here, and the broken shard has shifted it into the visible spectrum. Look, if I wanted a lecture, I'd buy myself a ticket for the university. There are no tickets to get to university, merely the numerous classes. Right, and on Junker's Eve, he comes flying over the roofs, bringing gifts. I mean, if that's the kind of crap you teach your students... Wait a minute, did you say traces? Did I say that? Yes, of course. 
we can use the shard to make the tatzel worm radiation visible. Come on, I have an idea. A secret lever. Gentlemen, I present the secret elephant hideout. Okay, seriously, Mac, how do you always do that da -da -da thing? Huh? Dad, whatever. There are more important secrets to reveal. Stay behind me. That must be the remains of the abandoned mall. Emphasis on abandoned. Exactly. There's no one here. Let's go. One moment. You see that tunnel there? The specimen has used it, and it wasn't that long ago. Then maybe it's still here. Hurrah. The signal is getting weaker. We need to hurry if we're to nab your phantom elephant. Typical. As soon as he gets rash, it's all of a sudden my phantom elephant. It's so spooky here. Aha! <laughs> I'm cannily exciting. Bit too exciting for my taste. Well, I'm not staying here alone without a weapon. Don't be too hard on him. He's a good lad. He is not. You only like him because he's your best customer. Oh, he, he normally just puts everything on your tab. Talking of which, how's your store doing? <sighs> Ding dong. Am I uh, interrupting by any chance? No, you do it on purpose. Kid gloves, Rufus. <laughs> I don't want naked flames in my store. Don't worry, Bernard. I'm, uh, I'm, ca I'm, you know, I'm thingy. Uh, uh, careful? Uh, no, the other one. Hey, Tony. <gasps> it wasn't me. Oh, really? So you didn't swap my toothpaste for shoe polish? Oh, so that's toothpaste. Or the cake for the Schwinowitz wedding for a foam glue replica? Again, not me. Or the bear trap in the refrigerator. Was that someone else, too? No, that was me. Someone had to do something about the mysterious cake exchanger. And your theory was that a bear was raiding our refrigerator at night. And he sold your diary to Wenzel. Precisely. And I'm sure the glasses are the bear's fault, too, right? No, no, that really wasn't me. So who was it? This is all McChronicle's fault. Who the heck is McChronicle? Some guy with a time machine. I'm jealous. Could you ask him to turn time back so that I don't have to listen to you lie anymore? Well, Tuck was supposed to watch out. You let a hobo look after my most valuable possession? Well, at least he knows all about glasses, right? Ah! 
It was a pink elephant. <sighs> I'm not sure what's more disappointing, that you broke the glasses or that you aren't even making the slightest effort with your excuses. The pink elephant really exists. Uh, Rufus, I could see you're trying very hard to smooth things over, but uh, could I suggest that you keep quiet about the elephant story for now? You're just making it worse. Nah, it may appear that way to a layman. In reality, I'm just taking a run up. I blame society. You blame society for breaking my grandma's glasses? Oh, oh, that's what this is all about. I thought we were talking about adolescent attention spans. It's your own fault. Excuse me? You heard me. Who comes up with the bright idea to build a pyramid of crystal glasses in the middle of the street? Don't change the subject. That's as lame an excuse as, why are they called fire dogs then? Or why build a junior school next to a hardware store? Playing the blame game won't solve the problem. Just like you. Don't you think you're exaggerating a little? I mean, that really wasn't the worst thing I've ever done. The problem is not so much what you did this time, but more the fact that you keep doing it again and again and again. You just never learn. And what's worse is that it's rubbing off on me. I'm making the same mistake over and over too. Thinking that overalls flatter your figure? Forgiving you! Oh. Hmm. Huh. The fact of the matter is, our relationship is going round in circles. You're going round in circles. I did once think you were utterly unique. Someone who was really different. But at some point, the constant stream of you trashing completely functional things becomes just another one of those things. The glasses weren't all that great anyhow. You almost never get them out. And they've gone a little milky. I could say the same thing about your eyeballs. I'll let you talk if you let me smash them. Does that mean you're not coming to Elysium with me? There's no way we'd get there anyway. Since we've been together, the success rate of your ingenious plans has been the only constant in my life. A straight zero. But I'm gradually beginning to miss my old constants. Like the number of walls I am, for instance. Originally, four. Or the number of hours a day that the kitchen was not on fire. That used to be 24. Now you're being unfair. You still have lots of constants. Five fingers, two legs, two parents. Okay. Now you're really scaring me. Say something, Bernard. I'm afraid you're on your own there, buddy. <laughs> but no sweat. You'll do just fine. True. If reconciliation was a martial art, I'd have more black belts than a menswear store. <laughs> you sure have training. I'll straighten this all out, and then you'll apologize. Not this time, Rufus. I'm fed up with going to the mayor for you. Letterbox Death 420 Light. Whatever happened to good old Letterbox Death 400? I hope they haven't reduced the amount of black powder inside again. I should check that out sometime. Hmm, no clues to be seen. I think I would have noticed an elephant running through my inventory. Rufus, you can't simply dismantle the tap from that tank of accelerant. Sure I can, look! But now it's all pouring into the basement. Oh boy. You know, it seemed like such a good idea at the start. But no problem, I can fix this. Do you have an angle grinder? Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, just leave it for the moment. I'll sort it out later. You're on fire, Burnett. <laughs> 